Hey guys, you're watching one and only, my name is AJ, welcome back to another episode of Let's Build an Engine Replica. Today, I want to finish off, pretty much finish off this side of the engine. We've got the starter to go on here, and the oil filter to go on there. What was that? Was that a bat? Oh, a spider's falling out. <laughs> Difficulty, peaceful. Okay. That's hilarious. Let's turn these shaders off as well. Yeah, um, and that should be it that goes on this side. Yeah, starter and the oil filter. And then we can jump onto the other side and do quite a complicated part, which is going to be the carburetor. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to that when we get there. The starter should be quite simple. We're going to use the nice light grey for the metal part. We're then going to use the cyan clay for the dark part. And then there's a yellow. And the yellow clay here is absolutely perfect for it. Uh, I might keep the cobblestone walls because there is a little wire that connects the two together. Now, we'll start off with, well, uh, we want to really have where the the size of it first. So let's go with a 2 by 2 style circle, which then the start will come off this way with. This is the metal part, the part that sort of connects it to the engine itself. Like that. And we'll bring it here as well. I just want like a cool way. I might just take that away and have it like that. I think that's just like a neat way of joining it up onto there. Uh, and then we have a little bit off the top as well because it goes to a, a smaller one up here. So let's do the smaller one first. I'll we'll just do this small one as yellow blocks. How far do I want to go? And that's about right for the small one. And then we'll put this on the end. And then the big one that goes underneath it starts off darker colour and then has a yellow cap on it. So they're sort of like an in inverted colour. Even though the smaller one really isn't any smaller. Let's, let's fix that. <laughs> there we go. This one. And this goes out a little bit further. Not too much further than the one above. But we need to bring it out. I would say another two blocks with grey. I just put it on peaceful. Didn't I just put it on peaceful? And then I hear a zombie. So then we have the yellow cap on here. Now from what I can tell. I looked through a bunch of images of my summer car which is obviously the program that we're using to, or the game that we're using to uh, try and reference all of this to. And no matter how much I looked, I could not find anywhere a connection, like an electronic connection from this to anything. Uh, I'm sure in the real world, they, the starter must be hooked up somehow to the battery. Obviously, um, but I couldn't find anywhere on how it would be and to be honest even because because we're not going to have a battery Hooked up around here. There's no point in having an electrical lead similar to how we done the distributor But yeah, there is our starter on the side and Then we'll have the oil filter which goes up at a diagonal here, which is a little bit of a pain um, doing a diagonal cylinder um, I'm thinking about just turning it <laughs> to go upward um it just it's just gonna make things an awful lot easier isn't it so let's change oh hiccups that that's the middle and then we'll have we'll still make it a cool shape or at least try to have something like that something like this right there Put them underneath. Already got it on that side. See, I just think that looks... <laughs> it's just, just going to be so much neater, I feel. Okay, and then I need a different block now. Because we've used the dark block for the bottom of this. Which means I'm then going to need to have a... Preferably a darker block than that. Uh, unless I change this one to something. If I change that one, oh, no, I could just use clay. No, if I change this to clay, that would be better. So we'll just change these up. Boop, 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 boop. I will get them all. I promise. I won't leave any. That one and that one. 
And I'll try not to cheat either. I'll try and do all of the ones in between stuff. That one, that one, that one. Okay, I don't think I cheesed it and, and then just placed box over. So, oil filter is a nice and simple shape. We're going to bring it out here. We'll make it more spherical afterwards, I think. We'll just go with a, a square first. So, an oil filter is basically just like a giant sponge. Um that they force the oil through the pump will push the oil as far as i know i'm sort of half guessing here will push it through an uh the oil filter and it'll catch any any debris any any lumps that shouldn't be in the oil because obviously you, oil is there to lubricate very important parts of the engine and if you've ending up getting uh little pieces of maybe metal or dirt or or air dust or anything then all of that causes friction which is sort of the opposite of what you want oil to do you want oil to make everything run freely uh, and not run uh, and, and not grip that's the last thing that you want it to do okay i'm going to add those three on that side i'm going to take out these corner pieces and that should be round enough just for moving these corner pieces for what we need here is that tall enough pretty much pretty much a good size can i get it any bigger I would like to just make it a little bit bigger. Like if we added... If we added that all the way up. I... Th I it just looked a little bit too small. It was, it was the same size as the distributor. And the oil filter is meant to be a little bit bigger. Plus I think the base was maybe too big as well. So by making this bigger, it'll make it look right then. That one. That one. And here. Okay. Now, how does that look? Do we now look too short and stumpy? A little bit. Let's take it up just uh, two more blocks. Two more blocks taller, and then I think we'll be good there. Then I will just have to cut away for a minute while I get a reference image for the carburetor up, because it is a very complicated piece. There's a lot going on on it. Uh, there's little springs and, and little bits that turn, uh, and I want to try and get that that right because it's going to be on the top of the engine. It's going to be something that people look at, or, or you know, we're going to look at quite closely. This looks way too thin at the bottom here, doesn't it? Let's sad that there there we go looks a little bit more substantial now all right guys i should be back in a moment okay so i found an image i won't bother putting it up on screen i'll just use it as reference uh of the business part of the carburetor not the big blue metal ring you know the the part that you see when you look in the bonnet the actual internal workings of it uh this goes on the other side of the engine and funnily enough it's what this wire what this pipe uh, goes to I, we knew it'd go around here to something it goes to that so these four holes are the carburetor like inputs if you like so let's let's make a shape that goes around those that's obviously the piece of metal that holds them together so we'll have something like the oops this okay and we'll have one again around the other side and then if i could i would like to have it so it looks like two separate pipes but they're joined to one um if we could do that that would be really really cool so if we do something like this and then have that like there one two oops need that there two one, two, one, two, and then, so, like, they're two separate pipes, but they join up to the same piece of metal, so then we slowly just move, the, we can move it probably in like that now, uh, something like that, let's just do that on this side. Just trying to move them in so they join up to one single pipe, you see. There. 
in there. The undersides and the top sides. Okay, we're getting closer. That one and that one. That one and that one. And I think we're there. There and there. That one. So we've joined up to one single two by two. Yeah, smart as absolutely perfect. Um, we might just copy and paste that because that, that that's like exactly what we need. Uh, that one. Two. Oops. That one. Let's stand on the very end of this piece right here, which is the little... Oh, I don't need it that far. I just need it here. This is like the little bolt that holds it on. Copy. Um, oh, I will need to flip it, won't I? Uh, yeah. Flip north, I think. Flip north and paste. Perfect. Sweet as. Now... This comes out, and they basically joined together. They joined together underneath, right? Pretty much. I can't see the underside of this. I can only sort of see uh, as much as you can out of one view. So we're going to have to probably make some of this up for ourselves. Uh, but that's that's quite a fun thing. So I'm fine with that. We'll have that one, and that one. We'll just join these two up together for now. Like that. I'm happy with that. Ugh. This is this is really the business part now of the engine, isn't it? All the internal hidden parts are finished and done with. We're now moving on to the parts that you know you see when you look into the into the bonnet. So we sort of need to really get these parts right, even more so than the internal parts. The internal parts are important to get right because they set the scale for the rest of the engine. Um, but these parts we need to get right because we see them. So there's no sort of laziness allowed with this sort of build. Nothing's hidden. Not everything has to be right because everything has a purpose. Okay. This side, that side, this side, that side, this side, that side. Right, so those two are joined. That looks so neat. I love that double pipe look there. Now, the carburetor itself, uh, I think I'm going to do in iron blocks. It's a nice, chunky, metal-feeling block. It's iron. Um, and this is going to be a little, bit, a little bit tricky to sort of work out at first. I think we're just going to have to guess. And then as we find out what parts are wrong, we can change it from there. So let's make a, a bit of a plate for this to go on. Let's find the middle, which we know are going to be those two blocks there. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I'll do it out here as well. So obviously we want this located in the middle. We don't want it to off to the side or anything like that. Um, and then we'll get these iron pieces. Now I need to have two pipes so we want two like this coming up let's go two blocks and then it goes to a plate which we'll do out here add those ones on i'm going to run it around like this so we have a little bit of a rounded corner Ooh, fell down and then we go back to the pipes again so I could just run these up through here. And how high do we want to go with this? Probably another two blocks I think will be safe. Maybe three, but two is definitely safe. Yeah, two will be perfect. Okay, and then we go into a slightly bigger base plate. So we're going to run again this around here. Let's do it the same size for the moment, and then we'll just add some blocks onto it. So have that around here. So all, it's a good start. I'm, I'm happy with it so far. Which is always a good thing. Because if you're not happy with it at the beginning, you know something is definitely wrong. Okay, so now we're just going to add an extra block. 
out the sides. Perfect. And then this goes into uh, one round piece. So we need to try and squeeze in a circle if possible. So we're going to go four, one, 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 two, three, four, one. Oh, perfect. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Absolutely bang on. I'm so happy with that. Uh, in fact, I might remove those ones and those ones. And then we keep with this sort of just slightly bigger than the rest of it. Look. And this is going to go up three blocks. So it's two and three. That's perfect. Look, the holes go right down on either side. Obviously, one hole will lead probably to that side and the other hole will lead to that side. I assume it would be something like that. Okay, and then in the middle here, we want to have... Cover those up, cover those up. Fill all those in. We want to have a piece of metal that goes like this across the middle. And then we have uh, what is basically like a pipe that goes up here. But because we're using a 2x2, two two, that's a little tricky. We can't get like a middle point in a 2x2. Two two. Uh, the only thing that we can do is, that's as close to it, is using four cobblestone walls and that sort of centers it then like that and then we'll get a nice chromey bit to go in the middle there so that's basically um the bottom washer of the big blue round part you know the part that i mean the sort of the bit that goes on top of the carburetor carburetor cover or i can't remember exactly what it's called we'll come when we come to it we'll be able to say the name but that's the bottom washer so the piece of metal will sit on top of that and then you would just put like a little wing nut on top to hold it in place it doesn't really uh, do anything from what i can understand now i need to put that through there and it's actually like a a brassy gold block i don't think gold would look that amazing on here I would rather use probably yellow wool. Um, orange stained clay could work. Yellow. We'll, we'll go with yellow. Um, I think the gold block would be a little bit too much. Iron and gold blocks next to each other probably aren't going to work all that well. Okay, so I'll put a brown one on there just to have a little bit of something. Now, this is where like a little bit of complexity comes into it. We've got a lot of different weird shapes. So we've got... A brown part that I'm going to pull out here, which is going to be the throttle, from what I understand. I'm sort of, like, guessing, really, as I am all the way through this series. Because I'm not a huge engine freak. I understand what I need to. So this is a really weird sort of, um, I don't know what, what you'd call it, like, like pickaxe shape? In a way, what would you, what shape would you call that? It's sort of a semicircle on the bottom, and then a T on the top. What, what would you call that shape? Haven't got a clue. So that's that's the throttle, right? And that joins up to a piece of static metal that comes off here. Uh, maybe it's too thick. Maybe we can just keep it with that. And that is a, then a spring that joins those two up together. So for a spring, we could just probably just use that. Oops. Okay. So this would turn anti-clockwise, pulling that string longer. So that this pot corner here would end up going down. Rotate that way. Yeah. Woom, woom, woom. And it would pull that string and that, oh, not string, spring. And then obviously the spring would pull it back when you haven't got your foot on the throttle. You could also turn this by hand when you're working in the engine. Like in the games, boom, 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 boom. Now, uh, the other end of this hooks up to a a lever like this, which is hooked up in the side here. Which I'm guessing uh, puts more fuel into the pistons or in, in, into the cylinder head. Is what I'm assuming it does. <laughs> Again, I'm guessing. Um, so the the more open the throttle is the more open the valve that inside here will be the more air it must be air this is doing carburetor does air not fuel the carburetor does air um 
yeah, the more air that goes in it, therefore the bigger the bang will be when the fuel is then compressed. I sound smart, but I have no idea what I'm talking about, really. So, uh, this part hooks up to a piece of metal that goes down here. Now, I would really, for symmetry's sake, like to have a two, a two, which means we should then really have it like... this I'm gonna do it like that okay so as that part turns down or I know that where's that turn as that end turns up it would force this lever up and rotating it that way whoom, whoom, whoom. okay now there is I don't know what it goes to but there is a other side to this that comes off this side and joins up to something down here. Uh, but I don't really know. So if... I don't think it has a throttle on the other side. Uh, but it it must go somewhere. For the moment, I'll just leave it blank. And when we come around to the other side, I'll be able to do it. Now, on the back of this, we have a piece of blue. Which I've still got in my hotbar for I don't know how long I've had it. Uh, that comes up the back here. Which is going to go just di uh, diagonally... Uh, which is again another support for the part that goes on top of here, but apart from that it doesn't do anything So I think we'll go up perfectly diagonally like every other block like this Oops. And it should go come out far enough for us So I need to go up to where the bolt is which is here and then bunk, that can be where the bolt goes like that so that will that will connect up once we get that on sweet as look at that i might end up thick or, or let's let's thicken this up so it's not like deadly thin on the corners if we do it like that instead it just look a little bit more meatier. It won't look like it's going to snap off as soon as you put any weight on it. Like that. Yeah, looks a lot better, doesn't it? 100%, 100% better. Um, I think... Until I get a picture of the other side... Oh, hang on. Hang on. The rocker cover needs to go on. And then the carburetor sits a little above that. So we need to make sure that this sits above it. So we're definitely going to have to add at least one more block to this. To get the height right. And then I can use the blue underneath it to push it up. That will be fine. That I'm, I'm happy with that. In fact, I could probably drop that back there. How does it look now that we've added another one on? Looks fine. 100% fine. Let me try and find a picture of the other side of the carburetor uh, so we can figure out like what that other part goes to and any other details that we can't see from here. And I should be back. Okay, I found out. It has quite a thick piece of metal on this side. Okay, so we're going to come out to about there like this, round the corners off so it looks nice. And we're going to have to add an, uh, another layer on at least, make it two layers thick. Do you want to go on, to on top or on bottom? Uh, on bottom, I think. Oh, missed a block. So we'll just add that like that. Meh. And what this does is has two purposes. One, it joins up the other end of this seesaw that we knew that we were missing something with. Uh, it comes this way as well like that so it goes straight onto here which we already have uh, and then boop, boop. so I don't know I think it's a little rubber stopper or something on there let's just point that up it has it like that and then boop. I don't know it's a little rub oh it's bigger than that there we go I don't know if it just bounces up and down on it or something like that and then on this side, remove those blocks. On this side, we have something like that. 
which connects up to there. So we're going to pull the... Oh, this should be gold. Coming out of there. Black. Coming out of there. And then this should run down to there. I'm going to do it at an even diagonal, hopefully. So, one, two, three, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Perfect, look. And then I can join up to there. All right, so that piece is now all the way hooked up around and in. Oh, sick. Really, really cool. So that's the carb on the top there. Actually looks pretty good for our scale because the big part, you don't really see this part underneath it. Once you've got the big blue part on top of, it really sort of swamps the whole look of it. Uh, but yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm really, really chuffed with that. We do have the headers that hopefully we can still fit in. Hopefully I left enough room between there, which is basically the, the start of the exhaust pipes that come off these square sections. But I think we're good. I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to leave it there. If you enjoyed the episode, hit that like button. If you haven't heard them, feel free to subscribe. We shall see you guys in the next episode. What does it look like with, uh, with the shaders on now? Hey, look at that. The iron actually does have a nice bit of shine to it with the shaders on. Works quite well. Alright guys, see you in the next episode.